Well, faithful cat Gracie over here seems to be uh, just growing mushrooms today. <laughs> yeah, but she's not the only one. No. Yeah, I, you know, I've done mushrooms over the years, so raised wine caps and oysters and shiitakes and such, but I uh, haven't done it for a while. I've had people asking me about it. They're going, Bill, all your mushrooms going. Well, here we are. We're back to it. Today, I am growing a wide range oyster. Now, this is the Pleurotus dostriatus, the oyster mushroom. This is one that takes a rather wide temperature range and conditions. Um, this is in the form of impregnated dolls right here you'll see we've got regular old hardwood dolls like we'd use to make a piece of furniture with or put a cutting board together and uh, they have been spawned with the, the mycelium for oyster mushrooms i have also uh, done a whole batch of these same exact way using shiitake spawn to do this we need to get ourselves some logs and then the logs have to be um well fresh cut they should be say approximately four to six weeks um cutting either uh, spring or fall logs is probably better summer logs is not good it's got a lot of sap in it uh, if you can avoid it um there are a whole variety of different possible uh, woods that the oyster mushroom will grow on what we have here is inga edulis this is the ice cream bean log i have discovered that shiitake will grow on this slowly and reticently but it does grow our problem here is that shiitake likes oak and hawaii doesn't have any oak okay so first thing we got to select ourselves some wood that may be suitable in the case of oyster it's not very picky um all right next it has to be felled and allowed to cure a bit but not so much that it begins to grow fungus otherwise if you get fungus on it'll start competing and that's not what we need here we need a nice virgin log that doesn't have any other mushrooms growing in it um, on the other hand the tree should be dead if the tree is still alive to freshly cut uh, the antibiotic action of the wood will resist the fungus okay so the next thing is we're going to get ourselves some logs here i like to use logs say oh big around as a a softball roughly big around as a league ball or so works fine for me um, next we have to drill the logs out and so here I have my Milwaukee drill and I have a 5 16 drill bit stuck into this thing and I have a piece of tape on it here to tell me don't go deeper than one inch like that. and then about six inches over again we're going to put another hole and about another six inches or so over from that some figures say 10 inches we're not building a sailboat here so it's not rocket science um, and then we're going to measure over two inches this way around the log and make another line of holes And so then we're going to continue all the way around the log so that two inches apart and six inches apart we have holes gridded throughout the entire log next we're going to take our impregnated dolls And we're going to get a row of them started in the log. Okay. And then we're going to drive them just like nails or dolls or however you want to look at it. Drive them down deep. Um, if you can manage to get them to recess, it's better. 
so they go below the surface just a bit. Okay, well, now we're going to seal the holes. Yeah, this will keep uh, this will keep foreign mold from uh, getting into the log. It will keep the uh, the uh, spawn moist by sealing it in here like it's in a canning jar or something. Well, well there you have it. I have spawned um, ice cream bean logs and some coffee log here. Uh, these have shiitake in them and they're sitting on top of a heap of coffee chips that are on more ice cream bean logs that were spawned a year ago with shiitake and they haven't done very well they have fruited some so I just dumped more chips on top of the pile of logs that have shiitake and put more shiitake on top of the pile of chips we'll see how this works out so, uh, here are the oysters uh, they're also in coffee and ice cream bean log they're back here in a nice cool moist shady location where mushrooms like to grow uh, I've got the rest of my logs here in the cart. These are mostly larger pieces that I had saved um, using sawdust to spawn uh, later on. I'm going to do a totem stack with these. I'll show you how that's done. Later. Yeah, no, so here's Gracie and Gracie says, Hey Bill, aren't we going to take an afternoon nap today, huh? You want to take a nap, Grace? Huh? I think so. I do. Yeah, this was a lot of work. I'm tired. Yes. I'm tired and I'm going to take myself a nap. Are you kidding? going to take a nap with me, right? Yes, you will. I loves taking a nap with Bill. Yeah, what a good girl. Yes. 